Hello, this video is for Nurse Hunt. Uh, I just recreated the, um, the balloon grid uh, again. And what I did was I did a Google search for the balloon grids. And I brought this into my silhouette. I did a uh, right click copy. I mean, I clicked on copy. I pull up my silhouette, click right click, and then I click paste and it brought it in. Then I took the white background out. I'm going to do it real quick. Uh, let me stretch it a little bit. I took the white background out. I don't know if you have a silhouette cameo or anything like that, but uh, I took the white background out. Uh, threshold. Um, did a trace. Ooh, that's too much. Let me go back. Okay, that's about right. I did a trace, pull it away, and now I have my outline. This is the only one that I want, so I need to ungroup it. But don't move it yet because it's going to take these little uh, squares away in the inside. So you want to drag your mouse over it and group it back together in the corner right at the bottom left. And now you have your grid. You can keep these right here if you want to. These are the T-squares where you can get smaller balloons uh, in between here. And you can make like uh, different patterns for that. And I'm, I think I might buy some of those soon. And this one is the square. Oops, let me group that back together. Let me get rid of this one because I don't need that. This one is the, like if you say that you want to make, um, like a jersey type of uh, backdrop wall. This you can use for like the sleeves of the of the t-shirt. Let me make a, another one copy paste so you can get a better understanding what I'm talking about. You can make this like the sleeve of the t-shirt or you can just have it if you want to make um, just say a column that like um, like a castle, the ends of the top of a castle, the little uh, square part, triangle part. You can do that with that, those. You can do a lot of things. You just have to be creative with it. Um, and then what I did was over here was I made one row and then I grouped it all together. Then after I grouped it all together, I did a copy and paste and then I was able to get all these rows coming down. Then what I did was took those four out in the middle to make the frame. If I just want a, to do a frame and I want to see what my balloons would look like and how many balloons that uh, frames I would need to accomplish that. Or if I want to do a wall, I will put these back in like this. And I will create my wall using uh, this uh, right here. And I will group this together and to make sure it doesn't move. You don't have to group it together, but I usually group my stuff together uh, so it won't move so much if I'm um, not clicking on the right spot. So I'm going to put these back over here and make sure you save this so you can always have it. I usually... Um, do a save as and I save it to my my library uh, to make sure that I always have it and I'm also going to um, save it to my cloud because one time my um, my silhouette had it crashed or something and I couldn't I lost everything that I ever done on it so I make sure I save it to uh, the cloud so I can keep the stuff that um, I know Silhouette Cameo itself is not theirs and something that I did personally that I got offline or something. So you want to make sure you, you do that. And right now it's processing so it shouldn't take that long. Okay. So let's go back here while it's do its thing. Okay, so it's already. So it's everything that I've 
done and I did Google search and uh, brought into the silhouette uh, is here where it says user designs 109. This is everything that I got from the internet uh, that I've done. This is what I downloaded from the Silhouette store. So anytime if it crashes, I will always have this because I purchased this from the store. So, um, well, that's it. I hope it helps you. And I will send you this if you would like and you can just work on it from here. Um, it'll pull up in silhouette. Now it might not break apart. You have to uh, ungroup it and to ungroup it you would have to go down to this left hand side right here and you see these two boxes that's touching. You could click on that and it would ungroup everything. But be careful because if you do, just say if I ungroup this, if I click it again, it's going to take this square out in the middle. You see and you don't want that. So let me put that back. So um, let's group all this back together. And now it's all grouped together. So be careful. So like I said, if you have to ungroup it, click it only once and it will just take, oops, no, I guess it won't. Okay, let me group that back. Well, just be careful, okay? Just try to, just don't ungroup it if you don't, if you don't have to ungroup this. If you're just doing a frame, if you want to, just say if you want your frame a little bit bigger, what you could do is, let me just copy and paste that one. I would, if you want it a little wider, but most frames you're not gonna get too many because if you, if you make it too big, then your frame will be wobbly. You have to have a pole in the middle. So most across you will go is six. Down you will probably go as much as seven. And I think this is the, the, the right size for this. But if you want to be, um, if it's a challenge for you and you like to challenge yourself, you can just do um, this like this and add two more down there by ungrouping this and just adding another one. Or what you can do is always have one single one on hand just in case. I'll just say I ungroup this and I group and I do a copy and paste. So that way I have one extra one all the time if I need to add more. If I need to add more and I'll just use this to make more instead of ungrouping all these to make more. So I will leave this one there too for you. But these right here goes in the middle in order for you to um, make a wall. Just say if you want to do a wall, you just add these right here to make your wall and you design your thing here. And I know on, on some of my videos, the, the arch, I mean the, the frame are smaller than this one, but the only thing what I did with that so I can uh, see a little bit better, I think I wasn't as close. And plus I, I believe that I had made it like more like this. So, you know, you can just, I don't know, I just did it from, from this point of view right here from this view right here. I never stretched it out. But um, let me just use my arrow to go back. But that's how I did my um, balloon grid to make my, um, make my designs for my balloon frames and the wall. So I hope this helped. If you have any more questions, just let me know and I'll try to help you as much as possible. If you would like this um, template here that I did in Silhouette and you ha have a Silhouette, just e give, send me, give me your email and I will send it to you. But until then, I'll see you in my next video.